My name is Jason Hayes, and I'm happy to be here answering questions about Critical Hit. Well, initially, my partner and I, Michael Gluck, were going to form a band of all video game music composers. So I started talking to a few of my friends in the industry about it, and there was interest. But it turns out that trying to get eight people that all write music for video games together in the same room to practice is really challenging to coordinate. So we decided to change the plan and just invite um, our friends that are also composers to come sit in from time to time as special guests and make the basis of the band all just outstanding musicians, many of which, uh, many of whom have helped me to record the game uh, scores for things like World of Warcraft and, and other Blizzard games. You know what, our whole band, you, you know you're picking these people that are excellent musicians, but sometimes it's hard to know what it's going to be like when you sit down to actually rehearse, whether you get along and work well together in the context of live performance. But it was a really, fun thing to discover that we all got along fantastically. We, we had a great time in rehearsals for BlizzCon and we really formed a tight uh, knit feeling right away. So we're having a great time playing together. We can't wait to start going around and, and playing all over the place. It's interesting because we recorded the album in more than one studio in different parts of the country. So we had part of the album recorded in New York City and part of it was in Los Angeles and some was recorded uh, in people's homes. We really had a variety of ways that we recorded the album in terms of having all the parts recorded separately. So the hard part was getting together after all the parts were recorded and then me working with them in, um, on my uh, computer and Pro Tools and trying to make it all work well together and sound like everyone was sitting around in the same room. And once I started working with it, because the players are so great, it wasn't too bad. I was, I think, more scared of the process before I got to that stage, but it all just kind of meshed and worked really well together. And uh, then when we had the mix, uh, Gustavo Borner, who's our mixer, was just uh, amazing at wrangling it all together, making it sound great. Well, with the first album, we wanted to make sure that we had something for hopefully everyone. So we've got definitely certain pieces that we know are targeted toward the hardcore video game music fan audience that we knew that that would be something that would pay a certain amount of appreciation to that community. But then we also wanted people that are either uh, very casual gamers or people that aren't even involved in the game industry at all to discover the wide world of, of um, what an art form video games have become. So we've got really a huge variety in that. We have our Tetris, which is obviously hugely popular across the entire world, but then we also have like Angry Birds and uh, Final Fantasy, Zelda, World of Warcraft, Halo, so from both East and West and a variety of, of really the whole spectrum of the game industry. So our plans going forward is to find some things. Um, our list goes is very, very big for our second and, and third album plans. And we'll hopefully hit on some things in the future that might be even lesser known uh, video game music, maybe from games that aren't as popular but have like exceptional music. We're looking forward to showcasing some of those things as well on upcoming albums. Well, I know that for the live performances, we're definitely planning on bringing in uh, various friends that work in the game industry. We've already had our first one with our BlizzCon concert. We had Peter McConnell, who I'm a huge fan of from all of his games, from Grim Fandango to Psychonauts. And then now more recently, he's been working with us at Blizzard on the music for Hearthstone. So having Peter on stage playing guitar was a really cool thing. And in the future, we're gonna be doing that with other 
with other game composers. As far as the album itself, we don't even know what we're going to do yet. I wouldn't rule out the possibility of having some of those guys and gals join us in the actual recording, but right now we're just uh, we're just really excited about going out and playing music uh, and from this first album and, and other things. <music> Our tastes are very um, varied when it comes to the kinds of music that we play all as, as individuals. I mean, Pedro Eustache, our Ethnic Winds player, was on tour with Yanni for quite a while, and he plays, because he owns more than 600 instruments, so he can play music from many different cultures and styles, and that kind of uh, variety of influences goes throughout the whole band. So I think a big influence in this was in discussions with our arranger, Adam Gubman, the kind of things we wanted to do with, uh, with taking the tunes, making them, uh, making them recognizable. You know, you don't want to hear the Zelda theme and not understand that, hey, that's Zelda. So we wanted to make sure that we called forth a very signature element of the music that everyone would recognize um, immediately, but then also have fun with it. So you'll find in certain sections, we'll go into a tango, or perhaps we'll do something that might be like straight ahead rock. And it really runs the gamut across a lot of different things. And we just had a lot of fun with doing some unusual things with some of our favorite video game music games. Wow, that's a big question and not one that I feel particularly qualified to comment on in an expert level. Even though I make my living writing music for games, it's all changing so fast and it's very exciting. It's hard to say where it's going to go. I know, not necessarily from a music standpoint, but from the standpoint of the technology, I think the move toward more immersive experiences, virtual reality is really exciting. And it's difficult to imagine how it is that we're going to do a musical score for more and more immersive lifelike experiences but i think it's a great a great challenge to figure out how we can address some of the newest entertainment experiences in video games that will be inspiring and and we can add um, compelling musical underscore to <laughs> Absolutely. We're excited about developing new arrangements for the show and we're constantly in development in that way. So I would say send us the coolest tracks from Witcher, which I actually need to play. I've heard of it, but I've never played it yet. But uh, send us some stuff and we'd be very excited to consider putting that in the set list. I'd like to say thank you all in Poland for listening and for playing the games. And I can't wait to see you online, maybe in Azeroth or wherever your adventures take you. Oh,